back to my channel. It's Monday morning. We actually have cleaners coming. I know that sounds ridiculous, but this house honestly is really hard for me to keep up with sometimes. So it's nice to just have like an overall quick clean of them, like cleaning all the bathrooms and everything like that. And they haven't come in a while because I've just been doing it myself. But I'm actually really happy that they're coming this morning because I feel like the house really needs it. And I just love the feeling of coming home to like a fresh clean house. So they're coming, but I don't know if it's anyone else that has cleaners ever come to their house. I'm like cleaning up for the cleaners. I'm like, let me put everything where it goes. So like, it's not confusing for them. The dishes are in the sink and I'm like, maybe I should clean all the dishes. <laughs> Cause I feel bad, like it's gross. But yeah, anyway, I think I'm gonna do the dishes real quick before they come. And then have some breakfast and then I'm just gonna go in the basement and work out while they're here to stay out of the way. And because I desperately need to do like an upper body day, I woke up this morning at 6.30, okay? Got up and turned on the light cause I was like, I'm gonna go to a like reformer Pilates class. Reformer Pilates is fucking hard, let me just tell you. I woke up, it was 6.30, I looked in the mirror and I was like, absolutely not. I turned off the light and I went back to bed for like an hour. It's now 9.18. I think I got out of bed at like 8.30 because Posey came up and cuddled me and it's really hard to get out of bed when she does that. So yeah, that's how my morning went. I also have a headache that I've had for two days, which is miserable. I just took ibuprofen and then I had didn't have caffeine yesterday. So I'm feeling like that's why whenever I get on like a caffeine kick and then I don't have it, I get a horrible throbbing headache. It's all on this side of my head. I've had them for years, so I'm just used to it by now. But I took ibuprofen and now I'm thinking I'm gonna have an Alani for my workout. I think the Alani, the caffeine will help cure me. At least I hope it will. And maybe some movement will help me. I think for breakfast, I'm gonna have an Eggo waffle <laughs> and some fruit maybe. I love Eggo waffles. They're so good. Breakfast of champions. I'll usually eat something more full of protein like after my workout, but this is all I'm in the mood for right now. And I just like eating them plain like that. I don't even like putting anything on them. I just like eating them plain. hot shower. I feel so good. I literally got so much sun. I don't know if you can tell. I think you can tell, but I got a lot of sun being out today. I also forgot sunscreen on my chest, which isn't good. I just showered. I'm about to just put some anti-frizz cream in my hair because I don't feel like blow drying it right at this moment. I want to go eat and relax because I'm wiped out from working out and going on a hike. Here's some photos from my little hiking trail trip. It was so nice and it was literally like 80 degrees outside today. I also had an ice cream sandwich and it was absolutely amazing and then I bought a crab pretzel it's frozen but it was from like this little shop and I put it in the freezer so I think I might make it tonight as like a little tv snack it looks amazing so for my hair whenever I don't want to dry it right away I always put this way anti-frizz cream in this video is sponsored by way they're one of my favorite hair care brands I always talk about them but this product is so nice for one it smells like bergamot lemon and violet and the bergamot is one of my favorite smells like anything that has that in it I love it smells so good like fresh clean delicious hair <laughs> so I always pump a few pumps onto my hands and I just rake it through my ends it controls frizz for up to 48 hours and it also protects your hair up to 450 degrees so this is kind of like my little pre blow dry treatment for when I do want to blow dry it I have naturally very frizzy hair so any product that saves time by controlling the frizz I love it I also just love how it smells like my hair smells so good now this product is definitely one of my favorites 
you guys know I also love their other products. For example, the perfume, everything that they make smells so amazing and fresh and clean. I also love their hair oil. This is my favorite hair oil. I have a bunch of different ones, but out of all of them, this one is definitely my favorite. It's lightweight, it controls frizz, it smooths your ends to make your hair look a lot healthier and shinier. And then this whenever I get out of the shower and then whenever I want a nice, fresh, clean perfume scent, I love using this. But yeah, these are my favorite products. Also, I don't know if I told you guys on here. I definitely didn't actually. I did not tell you guys, but we are getting a puppy and I ordered Whey Dog Shampoo. I don't know if you guys knew that, but they make dog shampoo that is like gentle enough for dogs and puppies. So I ordered that from Amazon and I'm so excited to use it on our new baby. If you guys are interested in trying out any of the Whey products, you can go to theway.com slash Claudia. That's T-H-E-O-U-A-I.com slash Claudia and you can get 15% off any product. So if you want to try the anti-frizz cream, if you have frizzy hair like me, I highly, highly recommend also trying the hair oil. If you don't have good hair oil, you need one for shiny hair. Also just give your hair a nice good scent. All these products are so nice. Thank you to Way for sponsoring this video. I'm gonna let my hair air dry a little. I just like to kind of give it a break from the heat. I try to only blow it out like maybe once a week. I'm sure I will end up using the blow dryer towards the end once it's like 70% dry. I have my Dyson Airwrap and I'll do that just to finish it off so it's not super curly because people love to say my hair is damaged but naturally it just has a lot of texture to it. Like I don't know if you guys can even really tell because it's wet right now but it just will be out to here because it's like very curly, frizzy and also have layers so that obviously makes it look even fuller. You can already see like this part to drying and it's just fluffing up. That's what my hair does. So the frizz cream helps quite a bit. Make some deodorant. Gosh, my head has been hurting literally all day. Whenever I get these headaches, it's the worst because I know it's gonna last three full days. It's currently 5.20, so I honestly kind of want to get food and get in bed and watch TV. Jesse is currently in Paris, if you're wondering where he is. For the next at least six days, I think, seven days, it's just gonna be me here, me and the cats. It's kind of depressing, but I'm fine. Popping some ibuprofen. <laughs> The question now is, do I make my crab pretzel? Oh, actually, I think I thought I was gonna heat up. We made burgers, DeFore and I had burgers last night for dinner here, and there's two left, and I'm kind of craving like a burger on no bun with like pickles and tomato. That sounds really good and refreshing. Oh, I wanted to show you guys my cute new decor. So Mackenzie Child came out with this new pattern. It was not a new pattern. She came out with the pink print and it is so cute. I got it in the little tea kettle to sit on our stove. And then I also got it for the coffee machine right here. I'm just obsessed with anything pink. And lucky for me, Jesse doesn't give a single shit if I put pink decor in the house like we have. <laughs> a pink checkered blanket on the couch. We have a pink strawberry blanket on our bed. He doesn't care as long as he's comfortable and the house has furniture. He does not care at all. So love that. I love these pickles from Trader Joe's. I got them the other day. So I'm gonna have these. I think I'm gonna cut it up with a burger and just like eat that together. I don't know why that sounds good. And my cute little orange plate. <coughs> Love that. This is a nice light dinner, but it looks really good if you ask me. Very refreshing after a long hot day. So good. Who could foresee the fall? 
next day. I've been sitting outside in the sun trying to get some sun on my body and um, I think I burnt my chest. It's very red already. That was not intentional. I wasn't even out there that long, but I think I want to put some of this little sunscreen on. Super Spritz from the brand Vacation. It's SPF 50. It's for your face. It's face mist, but I feel like this will work great too for my chest area because I want to sit out there for a little bit longer. I'm just trying to get some sun because I am like as white as this countertop. It's in the 70s and Jesse bought me these lounge chairs. They are the comfiest chairs. The only thing that sucks is you can't lay on your stomach, so I can't like also get sun on my back but that's fine but they're so nice now i'm greasy and smell like sunscreen it's actually not that greasy but i'm worried my face is gonna break out from using this it's for your face but i normally only wear skincare sunscreen on my face but i needed something because I'm frying out there. Made myself a little fruit plate. We had lots of fruit that we got from Trader Joe's, so I thought this would be yummy to eat out in the sun. This is what the cats do. I leave the screen open and I let them hang out right there. See, I would get them a catio. I've gone back and forth on this, but the problem is I've seen so many people get catios built and then their cat somehow escapes. I wouldn't let them in it unless I'm outside anyway, but for one, I don't know if they would get scared and then not like it, but also I feel like one of them would find a way to escape and I'm not willing to take that risk, but I'm wondering if maybe there's something that can attach to this opening, like in the screen door, like if I can put it between the two doors and then it can be like a little tunnel thing. I'm gonna look that up on Amazon. I feel like Amazon has everything. Good morning. It's Wednesday morning. I film in today for Walsh World and we're doing it at my house. I'm happy about that. I'm eating my waffles, cooking some hard boiled eggs because I like eating them for protein. And then I'm gonna do a workout in the basement. So I'll take you guys with me. I'm feeling a bit defeated, okay? I just spent like Probably honestly an hour trying to figure out what is wrong with my coffee machine, my espresso machine, I mean. And I've always brewed great espresso and made like such good iced coffees and I wanted one this morning. So I'm like, okay, let me try it because lately it's been having issues. I just went to try it and it's just not working. I don't know what's going on, but it's just like there's way too much pressure, but like no water's coming through, barely any espresso is brewing, and I can just tell it's way too dark and it's gonna be bitter. I watched videos, I looked up forums on how to fix it, and nothing seems to be working. I think it's the way I'm doing the grounds. I have no idea. But a new order came in from my favorite place. Skims. This is where I get all my like cute comfy sets from. Oh my gosh, this is so nice. But they came out with like these neons and you know me, I love colors. So I got the little pants in this hot pink color. These are like the cutest things ever. Living my like little Regina George moment in these matching sets. And then I also got the little zip hoodies to go with them. I felt like this was like perfect for spring, like these cute little sets. So I got that. And then I also got an orange. I've been loving orange tones this spring. I always get size extra extra small in things like this especially the pants their pants usually always fit perfect in a size extra extra small and i'm usually an extra small and everything else so i feel like they do run like slightly big or maybe they're meant to be baggier but i like them to be more fitted and then i think i got these in, yeah in an extra extra small too because i like them to be more like tiny little zip ups how cute is this though and i feel like these would look so cute too with like a workout outfit that has other bright colors in it i love like mixing and matching bright colors although today i'm very green and neutral I'm wearing all green, but that's because I got green New Balances and I wanted to wear them. But this just made my mood a little better since my coffee was such a fail because these colors are stunning. I'm definitely putting this on after I work out. So if anyone knows anything at all about the Breville machine and why the pressure would be way too high or like what grind settings I need, I only ever do one shot of espresso and my grind settings have never changed and it's always worked for me. Like I start, did this from the very beginning. I don't weigh my beans and maybe that's part of the problem, but like I've never had an issue before. Now all of a sudden it just doesn't want to work. And the machine is clean. I tried brewing without anything in the like little basket and it comes out fine. So it's not clogged or anything. <sighs> I don't know. Ooh. 
These are my new New Balance 9060s. I have two other pairs that are white. One's white and then one's like a cream color. But these are my favorite tennis shoes. They're so comfortable and like feel like such high quality. And they came out with like this sage green and I thought it would be so cute because I wear a lot of like different shades of green, I feel like. So I got Jesse a pair and I got me a pair because he has a few pairs of 9060s too and we just love them. <sighs> That is why I wanted to wear green today. But I also feel like this would just look good with like black and white and grays. Honestly, anything. I feel like it'd look cute with pink too, like a light pink. But now I only have a little bit of time to work out because I wasted so much time trying to fix that stupid coffee machine. Fun fact, I only know how to tie shoes like bunny ears. I don't know the other way. <laughs> I never learned it. Let's go work out. see i'm wearing my cute little skim set we filmed the wash world episode filmed some tiktoks and now the cats are eating their dinner and i'm about to just relax for the rest of the day i'm very tempted to order crumble cookie and do a tiktok review because those are so fun to do and it gives me a reason to eat crumble all by myself but i'm gonna end this vlog here because i'm gonna start another one for next week but i love you guys so much thank you so much for watching and being here bye